and it is something that I find extremely important if you are a pianist or a musician or generally in the performing arts but I also truly believe that it is important in life in general and can just help you become a happier and better person. Hi everybody, this is Danai and I want to start off by wishing you all a happy new year. It is finally 2022 and this is the first video that I'm posting in this year and as you can tell I am not in my usual surroundings. I am actually in Athens right now because my upcoming concerts this month are all in the south of Europe, in Greece and in Turkey. So before my first concert starts in a couple of days, which is going to be in Turkey, I came to Athens to visit my Greek family. And the place that I practice at when I am in Athens is usually this piano shop. So I'm in this piano shop where I always have a little private room and I can play a beautiful piano, which I'm so happy about and so grateful for. And I thought that I would just record the video from here. Now, since this is the first video of the new year, I was thinking about what a good subject could be, which piece or which technique I could talk about. And I decided to talk about more of a mindset question because since it is the new year, many people are making New Year's resolutions or are thinking about what can be done differently or in a better way this year. So I thought that this might come just at the right time. So what I want to talk about is not so much a resolution or a plan or anything like that, but it is more of an attitude change or a mindset change. And it is something that I find extremely important if you are a pianist or a musician or generally in the performing arts. But I also truly believe that it is important in life in general and can just help you become a happier and better person. So what I am talking about here is hard for me to put into one word. If I had to choose one word, that word would be gratitude. But it is so much more than just gratitude. So let me explain. So an example that I have witnessed so often is I'm sitting at a table with my musician friends and we're talking about concerts, we're talking about career steps and moves, and then someone talks about another musician and is talking about how they think that this person is not as good as somebody else. And then they say, well, that person has this amazing concert opportunity. I don't understand why. And they get kind of frustrated and annoyed that that person has something or has more success than themselves or than somebody else that they think is better. This is something so common in the industry that I work in. And I find that this is such a bad attitude and bad mood. Because yes, you're absolutely entitled to your opinion. Yes, maybe it's even true. Maybe you are better than that more successful person. Or maybe someone else that you're thinking of is better and has less success than the, let's say, quote unquote, worse person. But I truly believe that there is a reason why everybody is in life where they are. Even if it seems unfair, even if it seems like someone got it easier, I think that there is a reason and that person also worked hard to get there. And maybe that person that is not as good musically, if you think that way, as somebody else, maybe they are better in something else. Maybe they are great networkers. Maybe they are great with people. Maybe they have a great persona. There is something that makes them successful. There is something that makes concert promoters invite them and not that other person. There is something that makes audiences love them and buy a ticket. So I always feel that it is very problematic when someone says, I don't understand why that person has a concert and I don't, or that person has a concert and the other person doesn't, because there is a reason for it. And I think that we should just simply be grateful for what we have and admire and look up to the people that have more and maybe try to imitate certain things that they do. I don't mean, of course, imitate them artistically or musically, but maybe see what does that person do in their life that I can adapt, be it being healthy, be it being a great networker, be it being very friendly to other people. Um, whatever healthy routines that person has, could be something that you can adjust in your life in order to get the same success. So whenever I see someone that is successful or that I admire or that has something that I don't but that I would like to have, I never get into the mindset and attitude of that is unfair, I don't understand why, I'm frustrated. 
but I always shift my attitude and mindset to thinking, wow, that person has this and this and this amazing skill. And now I know what I can work on myself to get there as well. And I find that very healthy and very helpful. And whenever I have done that, it has actually helped me. I have gotten somewhere. Whereas if I had just been frustrated and uh, sad or just annoyed, I think it would have gotten me nowhere, probably just gotten me further down. So this is one side of the mindset and attitude that I want to talk about. Don't be jealous, don't be frustrated when it comes to people that are more successful than you or that have something that you don't. Just try to get there yourself as well. Be inspired. Basically, don't be jealous, be inspired. And then the second thing that I want to talk about connected to this as well is to be grateful for the opportunities and things that you already have. In our society and in our lives in general, we are programmed to always want more, more, more. And in a way, I think this is also a positive thing. I also always want more and I strive for more and I want to be more successful and better and play better and you know earn more money, everything. I think it's kind of normal that we want to strive for more, but sometimes it is kind of healthy and good for you to take a step back and just be grateful for what you already have and reflect on how much you have already reached, how many goals you have already reached, how lucky you are to have maybe a loving family, how lucky you are to be healthy, how lucky you are to be in the position you are in right now. It is not always easy to stop this yearning for more within us and to just be grateful for what we have. But I think it is very, very necessary, especially if you want to not only live a successful, but also a happy and fulfilled life. Happiness and, and fulfillment, this feeling within us, comes from being grateful and appreciating what is already there. And I am sure that if you take a step back and appreciate and are grateful for what you already have, you're going to maybe even be surprised and astonished at how much you already have and how much you have already reached. One thing that I like to do when I have this feeling that I want too much is to look at the year that just passed. So I look at the previous year and I see how many goals have I actually reached, how much further I have already come and how many steps I have taken forward compared to one year ago. Then I go to five years ago, then I go to 10 years ago and I realize, wow, I have actually already accomplished so much and I can take a moment and be happy and grateful that I managed to do that, that people helped me to reach these goals and then with this mindset, I can take the next step and actually in a healthy and very productive and effective way, take the next step towards reaching more success or whatever it is I want to reach. So basically, this is what I wanted to talk about. The concept of gratitude, of not being jealous or frustrated with other people's successes, but rather to be inspired and being grateful for what you already have. And when you compare yourself, don't compare yourself to others, but compare yourself to your previous self. Compare yourself to who you were last year, to who you were five years ago, to who you were 10 years ago, and see how far you've come and be proud of it. So I hope I didn't ramble too much in this video. I didn't really write down bullet points. I just started to talk about it freely. So I hope that it made sense and that I had a conscious strain of thought. Personally, this is really something that I do very often that I find extremely helpful and extremely powerful and I share that with all the people that I love because I really find it to be such a helpful practice. So let me know what you thought about it. I really hope that it is going to help you as well. Maybe some of you already are doing it. Let me know what your experience is with this type of mindset and attitude. And I'm really looking forward to this year, to posting many interesting videos for you. I hope you all have an amazing start into this year. I hope that it brings you joy and health and happiness and success. And I will see you again next week. Bye.